is the idea that the that political laws, which are to me and you, are the ramblings of the insane. To think that yes. you can write something down on a piece of paper. These are my show notes, by the way. That you can you can write down your will on a piece of paper that you know whatever it happens to be, and that it applies to everybody in a certain area. Is, right. To me, that's the ramblings of the insane. They believe that stuff, though. They believe that it applies to everybody. And, yep. and we're, we're conditioned, like you've said, that's, that, that's the word for it. We're yep. conditioned from a very early age that if you are in Canada, the Canadian laws apply to you. If you're born in Canada, you're a, the laws apply and you're a citizen or a subject, whatever. Uh, it's the same thing in the U.S. So that as it, and it just keeps getting reinforced. Like last week, we had the disgusting display of, of worshipping uh, the dead. Uh, it, it just awful, and you have armed forces yeah. day. It, it just uh, it, it's continually reinforced and reinforced. So it, it, the perception is: look, this is from the hand of a god. It's the right. law. Right. It applies. I, it's a blasphemy. I mean, that in a literal no, do it sense, or we'll shoot you. Yeah, yeah. God will strike you down with a taser yep. or 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 a Glock forty. Uh, if you do not obey his laws. So th- right. th- I call it sacred writ for a reason. And uh, because people, and it's that perception, that false legitimacy, the perception that people have, well, of course the laws apply. So that when someone like us, when they hear a call like this, again, this, I am not calling a critic and doing this. This is a guy with the boots on the ground. This is someone in the middle of the attack. I'm calling prosecutors and, 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 and uh, tax agents, the guys doing the attacks, the ones who would be testifying against you in court, okay? This is not just me hashing out on YouTube with somebody. These are the actual agents. So when you hear that, then when the agents themselves can't answer such a simple question, and I can't make it any easier, JT. Right. They agree that they operate under that presumption. If you are physically in Maine, our laws apply. We have jurisdiction. And all I do is ask him, do you have any actual proof? That's it. There's no magic formula. No. We're just asking for the proof. They don't have it. They absolutely do not have it. And, and no. I think it it's also has to do with the ramifications of that. And we've talked about this so many times here on the No State Project. Like, what's on the back of, uh, of Adventures in Legal Land? Right? What's the question? You remember? It's yeah. It's the uh, it's the uh, see here, no one speak no evil. Well, the, the the question on the back of the book is, is it? Possible? Oh yeah. Could it be that what you think is real is just a public relations scheme? Right. And 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 it's it's the realization when you hear calls like this and you and they're replicated, and even a spokesman for the attorney general in Canada has to hang up the phone rather than give me any evidence because he didn't have it. It 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 is it is difficult to imagine that the truth is. You are not a citizen. You're not. Right. There are right. no cities. There are no countries. There are no nations. There are no presidents. There are no senators. There is no godlike uh, government savior out to save you and to protect you. You are an individual man or woman. Right. And that's all we are. And that's all government is, is men and women. They call themselves government because... They are taking advantage of the perceptions in your head that they are an authority, that they are superhuman, that they can make rules you have to comply with or die. Right. It's sick.